Do you know how to graph points on a coordinate grid? Do you know how to identify points that have already been graphed? Let's take a look at how to do this. First, here's a coordinate grid. Let's talk about the parts of it. The first part that you may notice is that there's an x-axis. That's our horizontal axis. There's also a y-axis. That's our vertical axis. The point where they meet is this point right here in the middle, which is called the origin, and it has the coordinates of 0, 0. Some other things that you may notice is that if you go up from the origin or to the right of the origin, that the values are positive. And if you go down from the origin or to the left of the origin, that the values are negative. This is going to be important as we graph. Every coordinate, every point that you put on the coordinate grid has a coordinate to it. In this case, the origin is the coordinates 0, 0. It is 0 on the x-axis here, and it is also 0 on the y-axis here. Let's take a look at how to graph some points. Let's say that we want to graph the point 3, negative 7. First, we start at the origin. 3 is positive. That's our x value. We're going to go 3 to the right. 1, 2, 3. 7 is negative. That's our y value. So we're going to go down 7. And that's where we plot our point. That would be the point. If we wanted to name it, we could name it point A. And we would put point A there. Now what if we had another one? What if we said that point B was at 0, 4? Well, start at the origin. 0 is our x value, which means we're already at 0, so we're not going to go anywhere. Our 4 value is the y value, so we're going to go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And there's where we plot our point. That is point B. So again, notice that when you have a 0 as the x value, that you're not going to move to the right or to the left on the x-axis because you're already at 0 on the x-axis. Let's look at graphing one more. Let's say we have point C, which is at 9, 0. Now 9 is our x value. So we start at the origin and we go to 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But our y value is 0. Normally with a y value we would move up if it was positive and down if it was negative. Because it's 0, we're going to leave our point right there. That's where our c value goes. Now we have plotted points a, b, and c on the coordinate grid.